Hello everyone, welcome to Cross Culture. I'm Rebecca and for today's video we're going to be reacting to a trailer for a film. I believe a number of you requested this and this is for the film Lagan, Once Upon a Time in India. Now I did do a little bit of research and read up about this film before, you know, filming this and it is such an interesting story. It's based off of a true event that happened um, I'm sure a lot of you know about this, um, a lot of you are way more <laughs> educated on this sort of thing than I am, which is honestly really sad. My educational system in terms of the history between our two countries is very limited and I wish we were taught a lot more of it in schools and I think we should be. Um, but as I say in all my videos, this is why I love making these videos for you because you enjoy watching my reactions to these things and I enjoy learning more about your culture and your history. Um, so yeah, but this is sounds like such an interesting event in history. So there is quite a hefty logline in the like description of this video. Um, but essentially it's about um, the British army captain coming to a town or well, a village in India um, asking for everyone to pay their taxes. Um, and they're not really able to because they don't have the money and then the Raja of the village um, kind of makes like a deal with the captain and the captain says that if we play cricket and you win you don't have to pay the, the taxes but if we win like the British um, then you have to pay I think it was three times the amount which is insane just for losing a game of cricket that they had never played before like that is crazy. And then the story kind of follows that storyline. And then the sister of the army uh, captain, Elizabeth, she kind of starts training the villagers so that they know how to play the game. Because otherwise it's very, very unfair. Um, and the kind of person who takes on the lead of the Indian team is um, Bhavan? Bhavan? Um, and yeah, he kind of champions the Indian side and like gets together a team and tells the Raja to like confirm that we will play cricket and we will learn and we will try and not pay the taxes. Um, so it sounds incredible. And yeah, th I think this is quite an old film. Um, I think it said it came out in 2001. Um, yes, is a 2001 Indian Hindi language epic sports film which written and directed by Ash Ashutosh Gorekia oh you know I'm really bad at pronouncing names um and it stars Amir Khan who also produced it um alongside Gracie Singh with British actors Rachel Shelley and Paul Blackform playing supporting roles so it sounds like it's well I mean they said it in in the little bit I just read out sounds epic and the fact that it's based on true events is just incredible so yeah there's a lot to kind of unpack you know there is a very lot there's so much history between our two countries and the fact that this is also about cricket which you know you and I both know <laughs> our two countries playing cricket is always like one of the highlights of sporting events um I don't know too much about cricket like I know how to play but I don't really follow along with the sport itself um but i do know that our two countries have a long history of playing it together and maybe this is where it all starts from you know this this true event of the british captain you know trying to to uh get the taxes taxes off these villages but yes i've been rambling on for four minutes already let's watch this trailer together Oh wow, it's so old, it's in a square. <laughs> you have agreed to cancel the tax of the farmers in Champaner if they beat you in a game of cricket. Yes, sir. We also understand that if you lose, you will cancel their taxes for the next three years. Not just Champaner, but the entire province. If they lose, which they will, they will have to pay the Queen three times the tax. A young farmer with the help of a stranger. I want you to tell them that I would like to help them learn the game. Yes, baby. Must convince an entire village to risk everything. And believe that any dream worth having 
Next time, I'll shoot you. Is a dream worth fighting for? <laughs> Columbia TriStar Home Entertainment proudly presents one of the most remarkable productions in India's cinema history. An epic musical. <laughs> Filled with spectacular dance performances wow. and visuals that will make your spirit soar. <laughs> From award-winning director Ashidash Gowarikar, starring acclaimed actor and producer Amir Khan in a motion picture that BBC Online calls an Indian modern classic and a must-see. I'll have to add it to my list of films to watch. Look on. Audience winner, the Locarno International Film Festival. I did read that it won a lot of awards, which is really cool. Wow. Um, yeah, I mean, you know, I said it at the beginning, it looks epic and when I was reading up about the film itself it was like yes this epic sports film and it does it looks incredible like there's firstly the amount of people involved in this film you could see all the extras everyone everyone in like the spectators like watching the cricket uh, game unfold all the villagers so many people were involved in that which is just incredible and obviously the topic itself is just the f like the fact that it's b based on true events is just it really like I wish I knew more about the history um like I said my country does not teach us that much about it which is very sad and I know a lot of you when when you comment in my videos do mention the history between our two countries and I do read the comments um so yeah of course it's a very upsetting time but to see it kind of portrayed in a film with music and dancing not necessarily makes it light-hearted I like no but it kind of brings that element of like like cinematic essence to it I guess like of course it's based on true events and the fact you know the British colonized India um, but they're adding this kind of element of like the singing and the dancing um, just to kind of, well, I think, to kind of make it a bit more, not necessarily, but I don't know what I'm trying to say. <laughs> but it seems cool that they have added singing and dancing to a story that could be quite um, deep and a lot to kind of get into, if, if that makes sense. I hope that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so much going on. You know, they had that part where... Um, I don't think it was the captain or it was one of the British soldiers um, went to shoot at Bavan I think it was um, and he or like shot near to him and he was like next time I'll shoot you and like just to say that to someone like even in a film like it's just crazy and like to be able to give the performances such as Amir Khan does like I think it takes very talented actors to do that sort of thing um so I highly commend him for that and yeah it looks really cool I, it just it threw me a little bit to see it in oh what's the word not 16 by 9 because that's what we have now but like the square format um, I know I said it was from 2001 so I shouldn't be that surprised but um yeah it shows kind of just how well this film has stood the test of time because it's it's still you know showing the history between our two countries and it's allowing people in like my generation to learn more so I do feel like I need to add this to my currently quite long list of Indian and Bollywood films to watch so um yeah there's so much going on but I like to think that the kindness shown by Elizabeth the sister of the um, captain. I, I like to think that that kind of represents, you know, us as a country now. Um, the fact that she wanted to help them and wanted them to 
um, learn the sport and of course there was like a barrier in translation so she got um, the person standing next to her to kind of speak to everyone in the village um, but that's obviously such a lovely thing that she was able to do and yeah I just think the fact that they were using because obviously they didn't have the actual cricket equipment so they kind of just made their own to practice which is just like incredible and as I was reading up about um, this film um, I later found out that they won which is wonderful and I'm so glad that they did win um, which is really good because then they didn't have to pay the taxes for three years which is <laughs> wonderful um, and then turns out I also read that Elizabeth had fallen in love with Bavan but um, I think she had to leave or, or something happened um, and yes yeah, she returned to England and never married which is crazy while um, Bavan got married and yeah lived a good life um, so yeah a very eventful film it looks like let me know if you have seen this film um what are your thoughts on the film itself leave them in the comments below um yeah if you have enjoyed this please do give it a thumbs up don't forget to hit that subscribe button and i will see you very soon for a new video bye everyone